So we got we got about four days till Christmas. So we're just packing things up. Uh, we've got a job in Glen Ellen, simple six by six pond. Might, like I said, it might be the last job of the year, um, which is okay with us. We need some time to recharge our batteries. We've been doing this since April 1st, but uh, it's gonna be pretty awesome. We've got everybody on the job today. Um, we've got a couple new hires that we can uh, use this as a training experience. So that's exciting for me, as well as for the other guys. And it's just nice to be building. This is what we're passionate about, you know? Good? It's gonna be awesome. Hey Barb. Hey, good morning. How are you? I'm doing excellent. We, we, <laughs> we're just shoving out of Aqualand, so I just wanted to give you a heads up that we'll probably probably be there in about 20, 25 minutes or so. We'll, we'll take a look when we get there. And I can't get you a cup of coffee or anything on the way? All right, bye now. It's amazing how effective and valuable a simple phone call is like at the beginning of a job, whether it's the night before, which I typically do, just to touch base with the homeowner, or the morning of, just to let them know you're leaving and you're excited about coming and working on their project, to also give them a heads up when you might be there. Because it's a pretty overwhelming experience for a consumer doing what we do, especially at the pace to which we do it, because we're in and out in a day a lot of times. So it's a, it's a whirlwind of emotion. So they, they're filled with excitement and everything in the morning and then they it quickly turns to anxiety the second they start seeing their backyard explode to navigate those waters is tough i found that establishing a connection with them ahead of time really starts building that trust way before you ever pull up to their driveway so that's nice brian does a really good job of that at the sales consultation queuing us up as to what to expect it's one of the neat things about it too is getting to hear that initial excitement in their voice knowing that i've never talked to them never seen their face and they are super geeked about us coming out, so that's cool. It's invigorating, actually. The process when we roll up is we'll kind of park the trucks for a second. We'll go up. The first thing is always to introduce ourselves to the homeowner, you know, do that face-to-face -face introduction. And that's when I kind of go through things. That's when I take whatever information Brian has given me as to where the pond's being located, where the waterfall is going to start, some of the different features of the pond. And I kind of run through that with everybody. Once we get the, the generalities out of the way, then we start breaking up into how we're going to get the material through, what are we going to do first, then we'll start getting more detailed as, as in like let's get the grass cut, we're going to take the grass out this side of the fence, where are we going to put the biofalls, you know, because there's a there's a 20 step method to building water features in order to do it efficiently and profitably. We like to try and stay in that. So just kind of going through that stuff and trying to follow the process creatively, yep, profitably and effectively. So we just pulled up, here's our second truck pulling up right now. Or he's gonna stop. <laughs> but we just pulled up and uh, we're gonna go introduce ourselves to Barb, the homeowner, and then get started. So let's go. So guys, I, I've got Barb here with us. She's the homeowner today. I'm excited and I, I'm pretty sure you are too, right? I'm, I'm very excited and surprised to be doing this on December 21st or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, four days before Christmas. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. So well, I can't wait. So Barb met with Brian yesterday on the 20th, right? And you guys kind of agreed on a design plan and... and no, I just told him to go to head. <laughs> so it's right here the very next day, which tip, which isn't typical uh, ever for us, but uh, we managed to make it work. So this is yeah. awesome. So we'll probably strip a lot of this grass out and just make you a nice planting bed, yes, right? right? So pond was gonna be in this location down and through here. Waterfall is gonna start somewhere back up in this hillside right this embankment which will be awesome we've got a nice slope and we'll probably sink that biofalls which is your bio filter uh -huh. biological filter all the way down so it looks like the water just kind of naturally sprung up through the ground okay and then dance down in and get you some nice falls okay so awesome. uh yeah i'm just going to say yeah. have at it have at it <laughs> awesome <laughs> Barb, cool well we're going to start moving stuff in We're about two and a half hours into the build and we've got everything excavated. We've got our upper pooling area uh, for that first waterfall coming into the pond dug. Palming's hooked up, skimmers um, in. 
Biofalls is in. Um, right now we're just rocking the pond. So we've got the bottom rocked in. The challenge with this is we're going two feet deep and it's only about a six by six, six by seven pond. So we don't want to stack a lot of rock because the more rock you stack, the, the less stable it can become. And it's really hard to go vertical, especially with these granite boulders. So we're having to use a lot of the big stuff down below. Um, so right now we're just putting in a bunch of these accent boulders, which are the bigger ones. And then we're going to work off of those. So we should have this thing rocked. Um, up first waterfall built and the next waterfall coming in by at least lunchtime so we're getting there what's up guys okay we bring we bring lunch wow <laughs> is that is that the pond guy there you go <laughs> i'm coming to help work okay so when i come out to the job site i always come bearing gifts well not always but mostly so hey you know what we got some chicken and here we go Matt, I've even got us some grilled chicken, and I guarantee you that the the, the Buckeye will want to have some grilled chicken. So come on, guys, let's eat. So it's the so it's the last job of the year on the winter solstice. solstice. Oh, so this yeah. is the shortest day of the year. So how we do it? You think you're going to be able to get it done in one day? We got 27 people here. <laughs> <laughs> and and Matt, I told him he could stay here in the afternoon and 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 entertain you with his jokes. That's so this is do. this is my father-in-law Matt visiting from Alabama. Hi guys. And uh, we're having fun now. Yeah, we're having fun. Lunch time. So Greg surprised us, brought us an awesome lunch. Nice hot fried chicken on a cool day. But we're right about where we wanted to be. We've got the pond completely rocked in. We're basically 95% edged. Waterfalls are getting built. So we're in the home stretch, you know, another probably two dozen rocks and um, a few more bones of chicken. Anyways, <laughs> so yeah, we're having a blast and uh, just really grateful that the weather's holding off for us. So there we are. Hey, I'm Brian with Aquascape Construction. I've been working for Aquascape for over 22 years. I started in 1995 and I started digging holes and moving rock and stuff. What we're looking to show you guys is really the ins and outs of our construction company. And hopefully you pick up something here, something there, but we're gonna get in depth. We're gonna show you what we do in the winter because that's everybody's common question. How our team is motivated, how our team is trained, different things we do with design, different things we do with construction, different things we do with selling. Every aspect of our business is gonna be open to you guys with the intent that you guys learn something from it we want to show you every week what it's like to run the world's largest decorative water feature company we're doing a project that I sold yesterday never ever in the 22 years that I've been working for Aquascape have I been able to sell a project in an under 24 hours actually come out and build we've got four days until Christmas it's actually kind of unheard of that we're working this late we only did that uh, one other time that I can remember so it's nice and it's fortunate that we can do this. It worked out perfect for Barbara, the homeowner here. If she would have waited till next year, she would have actually been waiting till August to do it. So the fact that we could sneak it in for her, get it done, and she doesn't have to wait for us to finish our spring clean outs and all the other jobs that we already have scheduled for next year really works out well for her. We've also brought the entire team out here. It's not normal that on a project this size, we have this many guys. We've got Udi sitting back over there. Udi, raise your hand. We got Ariel, we got Emmanuel, we got Giovanni, new to the team, Billy Mays over in the back, Nick and Tim, take a look. We've got a small six by six foot pond in here. We've got our 400 skimmer, so our smaller skimmer. They don't need anything really bigger. We've got our dosing system, and then we've got a nice stream, just like I laid out for Chris. Pod here, stream there. There's not too many other options, right? What do you guys think? Another hour, 45 minutes? Yeah, <laughs> another 45 minutes, maybe an hour until we're done and uh, we'll have this thing up and running. Oh, very nice. It looks different from every uh -huh. angle. No, it's beautiful. So what we're gonna do is um, we'll sneak back out here and bring you some mulch, oh, you know, to cover oh, okay. this stuff up and around, just around the feature, because you've already mulched the rest of the yard. So we'll sneak back out here one day and get the mulch and stuff down. Um, and it, and we're also gonna let it run for the next couple weeks. Normally we'd sh say shut it down, but I want you to live with it and like it. I want your daughter to see it. And, yeah. and especially at night, you can see the different lights. No, that's we've got here beautiful. and there. So every waterfall is lit up. So you should be able to see all that stuff tonight. It will clear up, give it about three days. 
Um, okay. I stay three days just to cover myself. It should be pretty clear tomorrow. <laughs> I, I'm very, very excited about the pond. I think it's going to be beautiful. I think it's going to be even lovelier in the spring when we get a lot of plants. Oh, I, that's about all I have to say. <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> what do you think, guys? It's a wrap? I think it's a wrap. It's awesome. 2017 in the books, Barb. Thank you. All right, it was bombing awesome.